Hey guys, welcome back to All On In Law. This is a medical video lecture, physiology. And in this video, we're going to discuss about the important enzyme that's a cholecystokinin. Cholecystokinin. Or kinin. So cholecystokinin is made up of, remember, it's made up of 39 amino acids. Okay. 39 amino acid residues. Previously, it was thought that there were two separate hormones, namely pancreozyme, mean, pancreozymin and cholecystokinin. Cholecystokinin, right? And it was thought that the pancreozymin, that is this enzyme, pancreozymin stimulated the secretion of pancreatic juice with a large amount of enzymes, and the cholecystokinin, this enzyme, uh, stimulated the contraction of the gallbladder. Okay, but now it's established that the same hormone has actions on both the pancreas and the gallbladder. So it is named as cholecystokinin pancrea, pancreaso, pancreasimine. Or cholecystokinin, right? Cholecystokinin or cholecystopancreozymin enzyme. Okay, right. Let's talk about who secretes it. Tell me, it's secreted by the eye cells in present in the mucosa of duodenum, mucosa of duodenum and jejunum. Okay, and a small quantity of the hormone is secreted in the ileum also, right? So who secretes the uh, cholecystokinin? Cholecystokinin secreted by the eye cells, by the mucus of the duodenum and the jejunum, but also a small amount by the ileum. Okay, right? What are the stimulants for the secretion? Stimulants for the secretion. Who stimulates this? Cholecystokinin. Stimulant for the release of this hormone, that is a cholecystokinin, is a, is a presence of chyme, chyme, okay, chyme containing digestive products of the fats and the proteins, mainly the fatty acids, okay, peptides, and amino acids. In the upper part of the small intestine. What's a chyme carries nothing but the partially digested food, right? So in that chyme, they contain the fat, peptides, and the amino acids that stimulates the release of cholecystokinin, right, from the eye cells of the duodenum and the jejunum, right? So let's move on to the actions. The actions of cholecystokinin are really very important. The major action or the most important is what he call it contracts the gallbladder contract the gallbladder okay and it stimulates the exocrine pancreatic secretion it activates it stimulates the exocrine pancreatic secretion it activates the pancreatic SNR cells via the second messenger SNR cells activates the SNR cells via what you call the anacetol triphosphate. Anacetol triphosphate. Okay. It's a second messenger, right? 
and cholecystokine causes secretion of pancreatic juice with a large amount of enzymes. This is how it acts, cholecystokinin. Acts on SNR cells via second messenger, the inositol triphosphate, and releases a large amount of pancreatic enzymes. Right? What are the other functions? That are the minor functions of cholecystokinin. The major being this, the contraction of the gallbladder and the release of the pancreatic enzymes. Um, the cholecystokinin, it accelerates the activity of secretin to produce alkaline pancreatic juice with a large amount of bicarbonate ions. It accelerates activity of secretin. Okay? To produce what? Alkaline pancreatic juice with a large amount of bicarbonate ions. It increases the secretion of enterokinase. Enterokinase. It Increases the secretion of enterokinates. It inhibits the gastric motility. It inhibits gastric motility. Right? Then, it augments the contraction of pelvic stenosis. Contraction of Pelvic stenosis, pelvic, sorry, pelvic sphincter, right? Mm -hmm. Pelvic sphincter, right? And this cholecystokinase plays an important role in satiety by suppressing hunger. Suppresses hunger, right? And another one is it induces drug tolerance to opioids. Drug tolerance. To opioids. Okay. So these are the minor functions. So we know cholecystokinin is 39 amino acid residues. It is secreted by the eye cells in the mucosa of the duodenum and the jejunum. It's also secreted by the ileum. Okay. And um, the stimulant for the secretion of cholecystokinin is the chyme containing the digestive products of the fats and the proteins, especially fatty acids, amino acids, peptides, okay, in the upper part of the small intestine. And the major action of what you call the cholecystokinin is the contraction of the gallbladder and secretion of exocrine pancreatic enzymes by what you call uh, stimulating activates the pancreatic SNR cells while the second messenger that's the inositol triphosphate. So some other minor functions we discussed before. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.